Uh, now, well, I'll explain in a second. Turn this up for me. Ah, Hikoshigidaga, Kesas Hongwatani Duba Chekara dashing at the soda. Spimbutsini, Anokoga, Mangirikon de Tanova, Kanzen na Tishigai. To you, girl, Matakumini Oboega night to you, Goda. Hey, you and Okosak to Mosho Stetanga. Ma.状況的には厳しいかもしれんな。そうですね。俺たちが駆けつけた時、インはちょうど部屋にいた手下を倒したばかりのタイミングでした。外から そもそも出品される。つまり、オークション当日。屋敷に運び込まれたらしいが、その運び込んだ運送会社も架空のものだったと主張している。そんなバカな。つまり連中は はめられた側だと主張してるんですか。ま、そういうことだな。真偽の言葉はわからんが、連中が必死に弁解するのもわかる。下手をしたら人身売買の容疑がかけられちまうわけだからな。武器の密輸、マネーロンダリング、盗品
それにしても本当にどこの子なんだろうままだとどんな服かわからないんだけどうんそっかじゃーんねえねえ似合うへえほほう、うん、どうああかわいいよすごくキーヤに似合ってるぞほんとねえねえランディと課長もかわいいと思うおお<笑>かわいいかわいいうん悪くないな<笑>早速お披露目してるみたいねまだいろいろと着てほしかったんですけどエリーティオロイドたちがかわいいって<笑>よかったわねまあロイドさんならキーアがどんな服を着ててもかわいいと言いそうですけどそんなことはまああるかもしれないけど<笑>親バカ丸出しだなうんしかしキーボーが来てまだ1週間しか経ってねえのか<笑>なんだか信じられないわねそういえば警察本部からの連絡は結局どうだったんですか何でもルバーチェの方から打診があったとかああそれなんだがランチの時にでも。おいおい説明させてもらうよなるほど一応マフィアの心配はなくなったみたいですねただ根本的な問題は残ったままですかああ完全にこっちに丸投げされた形になったなとにかく肝心なのは記憶と素性についてだけど<笑>なあキーヤやっぱり何も思い出せないか全然ロイドが口をポカンと開けて目をまん丸にしてたのなら覚えてるけどガックそれは1週間前初めて会った時の話だろだってその前のことは何にも覚えてないんだもんそっかま覚えてないってんなら仕方ねえやな各方面への問い合わせはどうなっているんでしょうああそれなんだが駅や空港門にも問い合わせだが今のところ該当者はなしのようだ少々難航するかもしれんなそうですかおどうしたのロイドお腹でも痛い<笑>大丈夫だよ課長今日の午後からなんですけどキーヤを連れて外に出ても構わないでしょうかうん何か心当たりがあるのああ一度遊撃士協会を頼ってみようかと思ってさえ本気ですか遊撃士なるほどな連中は大陸各地にギルドの支部を持っているその情報も当てにしてみるかええ頼れるものはこの際頼っておくべきかとダメでしょうかまいいんじゃねえか警察とギルドは別に対立してるわけじゃねえわだかまりがあるとしたらむしろこちらの方だからな案件が案件だし協力を要請すれば向こうも断ったりはしねえだろうええそう思いますまエステルちゃんたちとはこの前結構打ち解けられたしな確かに相談するにはちょうどいい機会かもしれないわねでもロイドキーヤちゃんを連れていくってあなた一人で連れていくつもりそのつもりだけど全員で行くほどのことじゃないし俺一人で十分かと思うんだけど納得いかないわねただでさえ一番懐かれてるのにさらに独り占めしようだなんてえロイドさんはずるいですこの子と接する機会は均等であるべきではないかとえー、えっと何の話だ<笑>お前恨まれてんだよ何しろここ数日寝るときはいつもキーボード一緒みたいだし
いやそれはキーヤが勝手にベッドに入ってくるからでなあキーヤちゃんと部屋を用意したんだから一人で寝ないとダメだろだってロイドと一緒だとなんか落ち着くんだもん迷惑だったら諦めるけどいいや迷惑ってことはないけどさちょっとロイド何を冷たくしているのよあんなことがあったばかりなんだからまだ不安かもしれないじゃない一緒に寝てあげるくらいの解消は欲しいところですね俺にどうしろと<笑>ま当分は一緒にいてやれやそれから外出だが念のためもう一人連れていけルバーチェからの打診はあったが一応用心した方がいいだろうなっわかりました気をつけておきますはい。It really doesn't matter who you choose. However, if you choose the same person that you went to the、um, little auction with, then it like, gives them like, a huge boost to uh, their um, like, affection towards you. So, we're going to be bringing Ellie. And also, before I proceed on, for those of you watching on Twitch,、uh, I have a little thing here that's. Sort of like a checklist of how to go through the game because you can miss a bunch of events here. I also have a strategy guide. And that is going to be what I use for maps、um, in case I feel I need it. So let's go ahead and proceed on. Sateto. 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 用心は必要だけどギルドに行った帰りくらいなら寄り道もいいんじゃないかななるほどそれもそうね<笑>キーヤちゃんそれじゃあ行きましょうかうんってどこに行くのうん遊撃士協会ってところだけどひょっとしてわからないかな遊撃士それってもしかして正義の味方みたいな人たちなんだ知ってるのかそのくらいの一般常識は覚えてるってことなのかなええそうみたいねへへへなんで行くか知らないけどロイドとエリーが一緒ならキーは別にどこでもいいよなあ,あもうなんでこんなに可愛いのそれじゃあレッツゴー Okay,、uh, before we go, we're actually going to go up to talk to the cat.、Um, because even though it's the intermission and not a proper chapter, we are still able to get a quartz from it. I hope I have the fish I need for the quartz. Oh, I need to check what I get from him.、Um, so I have a list of things I can get from him and what I've already gotten. And I want to get all the. One time stuff, things you can only get from him, or that you can only get one other place in the game.、Uh, so I need Rainbow for this one. Yeah. Check this off. Once we get out of this chapter, I don't think there's gonna be any fighting in this chapter.、Uh, though there are, I think, two? At least one or two、um, hidden quests that we can get. There's nothing from the console, though, down on the first floor.
ちの知り合いい,いやさすがにそれはないけどでもこれでも記念祭の時よりは人手は少ないんだけどなやっぱりクロスベル氏の出身じゃないのかしらあれれうわ大きな鉄の箱がブルルルって通ってったよ<笑>あれは車だよ見るのは初めてな感じかは車を持ってないのうーん残念ながらうーんそっかみんなで一緒になれたら楽しそうって思ったんだけどうーん捜査一家が羨ましくなってきたわねでもやっぱりクロスベルの出身ではなさそうねああこの町に住んでいたら毎日のように見てるはずだしなでも車に関する知識はあるみたいだけどどういうことなんだろうどうしたのロイド遊撃士の人に会いに行かなくていいのなあそれじゃあ行こうか東通りに出ましょう OK うーん So we should be able to buy some stuff Hopefully I remember everything here is It seems like every time I take a break from this game to do other real life stuff, it ends up being a very long time before I get back to playing it. I'll spell time six. Got that.、Um, okay, we gotta find. There's one other place we can. Oh, not the U. Okay, so I do have to find this place to get that last book. Terry's little store. Oh, no, I don't want to go here. Darn it. I need to find this shop so I can get that book.、Uh, it's not going to be in there, I don't think, because that's where we buy food. That's Ginton. I gotta look this up because I don't know where this shop is. Uh, Where's the map of the town? Street. Gotcha. We'll go over there first then. Hold、uh, on,、oh, I'm just reading. There's a number of little events we can see,、uh, but I, I want to get this book first more than anything. It's not there. Maybe it's in here? Tallies. I thought it was Terry's. Tallies. Here's where we should be able to buy it. Yep. So if you missed、uh, the ninth volume, you can get it here. However, I believe this is the only time that you can get the eleventh volume. 
Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's see. Is there anything worth checking out? Hey, old man. Uh, no, this isn't really a new game. It's actually a very old game. Um, this is a uh, PS Vita game. It's actually a remake of a PSP game. It's the Legend of Heroes uh, Trails of Zero or Zero no Kiseki. It's part of the Kiseki series or the, the Legend of Heroes uh, series. If you've heard of those, like uh, Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2, uh, this one is actually comes before that. They're like broken up into like parts so you have um the trails in the sky series which is three parts and then you have uh trails of zero and trails of azure which is a two-part series which is this the first of that and then after that you have cold the cold steel which is going to be four parts and right now i'm just trying to see if there's any events worth seeing There's a lot to do that we can do here. Yeah, there, it's actually one of my favorite series. Um, as like an actual, as a whole, it's one of my favorite series because while you can play each individual like series, so the three-part Trails in the Sky series, this two-part series, or the Cold Steel series, you can play those individually as their own little thing. But if you play all of them, it's going to end up being nine total games. It's like one long, spanning, like, almost epic. It's like really awesome. And what's really cool is at the same time that this particular game is going on, the uh, Trails of Cold Steel series is going on in a different part of the world. And when, eventually they you, you meet up with the characters in those games. It's actually pretty cool. I actually really like it. We're just going to do the quest. So there's two different quests we can do here. We're going to look at those. Yeah, it is really neat. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I, I'd never really played any of these games until I picked up Cold Steel 1. And I played that and I really enjoyed it. It was very similar to Persona in terms of how it played out. So I liked it. And then I went back and played the whole series and absolutely loved it. But this particular version of the game, this was originally a PSP game, and then this was released on PlayStation Vita, and it adds like full voiceover act, like full voiceovers for the main story, which wasn't in the PSP version, and there's a number of extra quests and whatnot. Well, you know what, oh man, these this series actually started on PC originally. So that this uh the in fact most of this company's games uh, is a Falcom release. Most of their games actually start on PC, or were originally PC games. I think the Cold Steel series, I think this game and the Cold Steel series were the first that weren't PC to begin with, for The Legend of Heroes, at least. Yeah. Interesting. 
The only unfortunate thing about this series is not every single game in the series is currently on, or is currently translated into English. Yeah, it's a very old series. Yeah, it's going on lightning. Yep, time for some moon runes. But yeah, like I was saying, old man, the only really unfortunate part about this series is it's not all in English. Uh, I know for a fact that The Legend of Heroes uh, Trails in the Sky 1 and 2 are in English. Those are the first two games in the, in the series. I don't know about 3. Um, and then I know this game and its sequel is not in English. And then Cold Steel 1 and 2 are currently in English. You can get those on PC as well on Steam. And then Cold Steel 3 is not in English. And Cold Steel 4 isn't even released in Japan yet. That comes out in September. And that's actually going to be the end of the whole thing, as, as they're saying. Whether I hope they do more, but at least for this particular continent and this major story, that will be the end of it. Geofront A2. How do I get the Geofront A2? This is a problem, because the last time I played, I... The way I've been playing this game, it, it's I've been uploading it to YouTube, and... Just because of having, you know, getting busy with work in Japan, and then moving back to the States, I've had long breaks in between periods of playing it. So I kind of forget where some stuff is. find Geofront A2. That's B. Geofront A2. Okay, wait. It says Chapter 3. I'm gonna check my little guide here. Go back to Chapter 3. The Cold Steel series should get an English translation. The one that's iffy is this one. Yeah, Cold Steel 3 should. Uh, it's just... These two, the, the Crossbell games, are kind of iffy about whether or not they'll actually get a... Um, a translation or not. Okay, here we go. Apparently I fought some boss in here, and that's where I need to go for this quest. Maybe it'll tell me here. Oh my god, I don't remember where to go. I don't remember how to get to here. Yeah, I mean, they, it usually takes a while for them to come to the U.S., but the uh, Cold Steel series actually came pretty early. Came pretty early. It's going on, Ike. I'm currently lost in this game. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I mean, I knew what I was doing. I just forgot everything on the map. Uh, so I'm trying to find out how to get to the Geofront a. Well, there's that entrance to it. Oh! Okay. I know how to get there now. Yeah, this is the PS Vita version. It was originally a PSP game, uh, but they made a. They ported it to the Vita and added full voiceovers for the main story, as well as some extra quests. Yeah, the Cold Steel series came out pretty quickly. Um, I mean, the Cold Steel one, it was originally, you could get it on, P on PS3, so I think that's why they brought it out over here quickly. 
now, right now, you can actually get the entire series on PS4. However, the PS4 versions are only in Japanese uh, for the Cold Steel series. But you can get Cold Steel 1 and 2 on either PS3 or PC here in the States. Okay, I need to check something again. So it says I need to go to this place I went to in Chapter 3 to fight some monster. Uh, what monster? Megado Queen. Event Battle 3. Okay, so where was that? Event Battle 3. Where were you? Sorry, I completely forgot where I was going. Otherwise, I would not be wasting all this time trying to look for a strategy guide to figure out where I was going, but it's been so long. Hard, I only have two people in my party. The deepest one. So over here, maybe? Yeah, what do you think one of the main reasons I learned Japanese was? It's to play video games that never come out, or that take forever to come out. Especially since I really love RPG games, and there's a lot of RPGs. Oh, here it is. Uh, I wonder if there's anything I need to know about this thing. Oh, god. I, I know I want to go save, that's for sure. This thing can instant death you. Sometimes I don't use strategy guys when I play games, but this uh, series I do because there's a bunch of things you can miss. I want to make sure I get everything. Just takes practice, lightning. Just takes practice. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I'm playing a Vita game. I can save anywhere. Okay, so that all three of the Trails in the Sky games are out. Excellent. So yeah, old man, uh, there's Trails in the Sky 1, 3, 1, 2, and 3, right? And that's the first three games in the series. And those kind of... This, this whole thing takes place on the Erebonia continent. And the Trails in the Sky series is kind of like the beginning of the saga. It takes, in the it takes place in the southern part. And then this game right here is um, Trails of Zero. And this is the first part of a duology, which is Trails of Zero and Trails of Azure. And those take place in a region called Crossbell. And it's kind of a region that's sandwiched in between the Erebonian continent and this other continent that's like at war with Erebonia. And then in terms of release, after those, after these two comes Cold Steel 1, 2, and then 3. However, in terms of the story, this game and um, it, the second part of the duology, Trails of Azure, take place at the exact same time that Cold Steel 1 and 2 take place, which is actually really cool, because if you're playing through, like, this one, or you're playing through Cold Steel 1, and you, you play the other one, you can hear them talking about events that are going on, and you're like, oh, I know exactly what's going on there, because you played it. It's really cool. Let's just hope we don't get instant killed here. Right, like you can play each one of them individually if you want to, which is really cool. Or like each little series and you'll be content with that. Or you can play the whole thing and they like... So like when I was playing Trails of Cold Steel 3, characters from past games you know, showed up in the series, and, like, characters from the first three games show up in this one, and, like, it's all interconnected. It's really cool.
Oh god. Now I gotta remember how to play Eek too. Uh. What's this thing weak against? Uh, I forgot. I just need to attack with him. Hopefully she. Nope. Uh, I probably need to heal. Wait, why is Kia in the party? All right. It's 50 CP. I'm just gonna do this until we build up some CP on him. Um, yeah, we'll just keep doing it this way. If I can get him over 100 CP, I can do like a dual attack. Anywhere near as much damage as I hoped it would. I think I've got this her. Jeez. Oh no, attack him. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, item, item world sucks. I I really hate its implementation for a lot of reasons. Like it just it never feels good, and like even when it you know, even when you do get stuff, you have to like go at it for forever to get something good. It just never feels good. God, lucky dodge there. I also don't like that whenever you, um, whenever you, you, like, give some, or give, you know, an item you have two of, and you enhance one of them, it splits them up, so it just takes up inventory space. I don't like that either. It's not Gumi, it's Alum. <laughs> Gumi's just using Alum's uh, implementation right now. Oh, that thing is stealing my CP? Rude. Fire. I should have checked this a whole lot earlier. Weak to fire. Good 
they could. They're just being lazy. With two people is quite a bit more difficult. Okay, so now we've done that. Uh... I mean, it was four weapon types uh, per month for us for a few months as well. where the monster was and see if we get anything from her. Also, I'm going to rest and heal up. And even on JP with the item world, I don't even focus on it anymore. Like, oh, you know, if I notice that I have 10 orbs, I'll go ahead and run through it, but I don't make it a priority to do it anymore because I just, I don't think it's really worth it to, like, really try and go out and go for something good. The only time I, like, used a whole bunch of potions and really went for something was, um, for Axter Super Trust Mastery. No, it was for a month for a few months, and they just gave us all of them after that. And now, instead of doing four, what they did was they did four a month after a while, for a while, and then they gave us all of them. And when they gave us all of them, they started giving us upgrades. So, the rare, you may, like, one week, you know, normally you may only be get like, level three of something, but one month it may be level four for that particular thing. Uh, really, there's three qu inter intermission quests here. Oh, I can't get the other one until after. So we get this one. Okay. Take it easy, EK. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming out. Oh yeah, old man, uh, I gave in, and 
I bought BFA. And started playing that all day today. I know, I know. Shame, shame, shame. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of it feels good to be back. They've a lot's changed since I last stopped playing, though. So it's I might it's almost fresh now. Weird as that sounds. Okay, apparently that started a quest for us. Um, okay. And this is the reason I use strategy guides on this particular series. It's actually, starting with the third Trails of Cold Steel, it hasn't been that bad. But anything before that, there's hidden quests. And they are actually hidden if you don't know how to get them. 
Juice stand was here and it's supposed to be gone. There we go. I was looking for this point. Okay. that hint. And then we have to go south. even farther south. We have to drink it. <laughs> okay, it's worth it. Okay. For those of you watching, the reason we're doing all these quests is uh, you get a thing called DP. It's called something different in basically every single game, uh, but you get DP for it. Uh, if there's a Place I can show you what that does. Hmm, I don't think I, there's a place I can show you right here, but uh, you get DP for it, and there's a certain amount in the game that you can get, 
and as you get more you go up in rank and as you go up in rank you get special rewards and things like that so it's worth going and trying to do everything to get as much DP as possible Nice. Uh. Okay. Now we can proceed on with the story. There's still one more hidden quest, but we don't or we can't do it just yet.